Hi, I'm René Schepen from European Protein. In European Protein, we ferment plant proteins to use in animal feed. And normally we use mainly soy and canola, but a couple of years ago we also started using seaweed because it delivers specific benefits. And nowadays we are the biggest user of seaweed in animal feed in Europe. I'm now standing next to a container, and this is one of the containers that we use to get saccharina seaweed to our plant. It is harvested from lines in the sea, as you all know much better than I do. And on the ship already it is dewatered, it is chopped up and our proprietary bacteria are added to it. Then we fill it up in a container like this. It is closed so we get an anaerobic process and the seaweed already ferments and the breakdown of all these tough fibers in it starts and has a long time to work and operate. In this way we bring the product to our plant and then in this wet stage we mix it up with the soy or rapeseed or whatever we want to combine it with and then we do the second fermentation. We use the water that is in the seaweed to co-ferment all the other dry materials with it so we don't have to dry first and then add water again. So we try to be economic and sustainable. So next to the saccharina we also use another ascophyllum in our fermentation and together with the plant proteins, uh, the, the canola or the soy, uh, we make our products and what we find out is that in this fermentation it delivers a lot of benefits. We break down a lot of anti-nutritional factors which are both in the plant proteins but also in the seaweed and our bacteria and the enzymes they produce they break down these ANFs and afterwards the product becomes much better digestible to the animal. Next to that we acidify the product so that helps the digestion in the stomach of the animals also and we make a lot of metabolites in our products which are health improving. Some are antimicrobial, others are anti-inflammatory. So we make a very nice added value product out of it. So after our fermentation is done and the product is ready, uh, we want to stop this fermentation because otherwise it keeps going, it's difficult to handle and it won't be stable. So then depending on our customers' wishes, we either make it in a big bag that we can supply it to them or we put it in bulk and they can take it like that. So we started producing this product called EP199 with seaweed in it in 2019. And we know by now that it works very well in sow feeding. So it increases the health of the sows without using antibiotics and medicine. It also increases the productivity of the sows, which of course is what the farmers are interested in. And we now also have indication that it works in cow feeding and doing trials on that. Uh, next to a better feed conversion and a better conversion from feed to milk, uh, there's also less production of methane, it seems. And methane is a 26 times more potent uh, gas than CO2. So if we can limit that, that will be very good for the farming industry. Um, sows we have, cows we have, we are now doing trials in fish, we are uh, evaluating the product also in pet food and we are even doing trials in human food consumption of this product. We see a nice future in the use of seaweed, mainly in animal feed and maybe some also in human food consumption. But for use in animal feed the price is an important matter, as it is now it is about 15 times more expensive than other components are, that are normally used in feed. So that means you, even a small amount in the feed will make the feed expensive and you need very solid proof to convince the farmer to use this type of product. So we are building together with the University of Copenhagen on a large database to be able to gather all this information from about 70, 80 different farms, practical farms, with sows and we are taking DNA samples from the feces, we are doing blood sampling on these farms all to be able to demonstrate what the effect of this product is and to convince a farmer upfront that his investment in this very expensive material will be rewarded with better results. So what we hope to achieve is use ever bigger quantities of seaweed in the production of our fermented feeds. And uh, important for that is the price, as I mentioned. So if we order more, you growers can grow more. And that should make it more efficient and we should get the cost price down. If we together achieve in doing that, we see a very prosperous future for seaweed in animal feed and human food. 